Uh, he was wanted by the state of Massachusetts, a probation violator caught because he tried to skip a tea fair. Hi, everyone. I'm Bob Ward. And I'm Maria Stefanos. This guy is in jail tonight because he and his girlfriend, they got caught on the red line. Adam Pellerin, live at Transit Police. And Adam, this has an interesting backstory. Maria, Bob, two versions of this story. One from Transit Police who made the arrest, the other from the suspect's family. Doesn't matter how you look at it, though. At the end of the day, the latest probation violator is behind bars. We've been very successful in finding people who have warrants uh, who are also are evading the fair. And that success continued this morning. Plainclothes officers catch a guy and his girlfriend allegedly trying to hitch a free ride on the red line. That man wanted for violating his probation. Our officer observed a male go through the fair gates, uh, followed by a female who was piggybacking uh, behind him without paying the fare. 23-year-old Samuel Nelson was arrested at Andrews Station this morning. The Dorchester man was convicted of charges related to a previous home invasion where knives were drawn and money was stolen. Nelson was one of nine men on a Massachusetts Most Wanted list for probation violations. But cops say when they nabbed he and his girlfriend for fare evasion, they didn't know who he was until she spoke up. The female had a spontaneous utterance saying, oh no, oh my God, uh, you know, please don't take him, he's wanted. What girlfriend would say, please don't take him, he's wanted? But Nelson's girlfriend, Melinda Walsh, says she didn't say that. Walsh and Nelson's mother, Patricia Durham, claimed they were actually on their way to court so Nelson can turn himself in. His probation had called me as we was on our way to the Andrews station. I told him we were at Andrews station. We were on our way inside to catch the train. Now, everybody did not have no money. This is a problem. The family says Nelson violated his probation because he didn't fulfill his community service requirement. And while they admit to skipping out on the fair, they claim their intentions were good. Yes, it was wrong that, okay, I was falling behind them. We were just trying to do the right thing. Now, the family says Samuel Nelson is being held on $50,000 bail. He'll be back in court next month. Bob? Well, Adam, the T police, as you say, they usually find that people who skip out on their fair, they have something to hide. Yeah, pretty interesting stat here. One out of every 10 people they arrest for a fair evasion actually have a warrant out for their arrest. They got plainclothes officers down on the tee all the time, and today, well, it paid off. Bob? It sure did. Amazing stuff. Thanks, Adam.